my wife's a garage sale collector. She's at every rummage sale you'll ever see. She buys the clothes and never stops to check them. She just bags them up and brings them home to me. Everyone, welcome to my channel, Clay Ramage. I am back again, but with a different... This is not a garage sale or a Goodwill bins haul. This is a, a miscellaneous... Um, oh, actually, it's it, when I'm working at the Pink Elephant, you know, people will bring stuff in to sell. And that's where a lot of this stuff came from. And I'm super excited because part of what these people brought in were these very old Christmas ornaments. The hand-blown glass ornaments. This one is a little, I don't even know what he is for sure. Are they supposed to be a bear or what? I'm not sure. There's one of them that we what that we picked up. This is another fabulous one. Look at that Santa. Still amazing. The paint is in excellent condition. So we're just going to go through some of these Christmas ornaments and a few other things I'm going to mix in here too. That. Uh, I've picked up various places, garage sales, whatever, that I haven't shown yet. So this is the one that's in the worst condition. It's because the paint's all fallen off of it. Um, but yeah, this one is in amazing condition. It's like a little soldier boy. The paint is still bright vibrant beautifully done love that and then not that i'm a big christmas ornament expert but i was really this one is a beautiful purple you can see the purple and then it's covered in this wire lace type of thingy i just never saw one quite like that i thought that was pretty cool and there's one of the indents. Beautiful piece still. I mean, yeah, when I saw these ornaments, I was like, yes. Of course, they have some of the acorns. This is a little larger one. Still in beautiful condition. Gotta be careful so I don't drop them like I've done in the past, as you guys know. There's another beautiful one. Larger acorn. And people like the acorns for some reason. It's great. This one seems like more of a pine cone. I'm always amazed these things survive because they're so fragile. It's excited about this one. It's the triple head, the cat, the dog, and the owl. It's in wonderful condition. It's a little dirty, but still wonderful condition. Amazing, amazing piece. Love it. And then there are a whole bunch of these. These are like little heart shaped, but they seem like strawberries, <laughs> as they call them. They've got little um, bumps on them. And there's, you know, these different colors of them. So there's nine of those. I love those. And then this was the one that amazed me the most. long cylinder it's got the gold at the top and at the bottom although the gold is falling off and it must have a high copper content because it's turning that greenish color the whole ornament just had me perplexed because i don't know if 
it was supposed to be another color and it's turned that color with age or or what it's most unique i'll have to take it to my friend tim who's a christmas ornament expert he might be able to share with us what that is all about and these are a few things that cindy picked up at a garage sale <laughs> little dog with the two baskets he's cute and then she picked up a couple Wade figures still in the box. The old woman in the shoe. Made in England. They're always marked. But I've never seen them in the box before. And I'm sure they're out there. I just only seen them loose. And then we got the hump, Humpty Dumpty one. So I haven't looked those up or done anything with those yet. Oh, and then at another sale, I picked up some vintage... Oh, my. Where did that come from? I don't remember that on there. Anyway, it's a vintage puppet by a specific company. 24K Polar Puff, 1985. So, it was a good find. And then I also found Pound Puppy. And he's in, he's in pretty dirty shape, but he's not damaged in any way. Just a little surface wash only so and I know people have said to use like a uh, baby wipe on him so I'll try that see if he cleans up and then all three of these came from the same sale and then the last thing I found was this Furby that's right he's an original Furby I need to open him up 1998 Furby so we'll see if he still works or not so those were some fun little finds. And I think that's about it for now. So just a short video, but thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you next time.